Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you my fastest lap around Nürburgring in iRacing, driving the GT4 Porsche Cayman. I saw most people use BMWs around this track for some reason, but I dislike BMWs in real life because a huge percentage of BMW drivers are idiots around this part of the world and I don't really care what everyone is driving on the service. It's not like it matters at my skill level anyway. This track is very intimidating, I never had the patience even to begin trying to learn it and thought it's impossible, for me at least. Well, and my Moza R9 arrived today and I said, screw this, let's do it. And drove around the track between iRacing and Assetto Corsa Competizione, fooling around with the force feedback settings. My first impressions about this Moza base is a freaking monster and you are nuts if you keep it at 100%. Now back to these two sims. Yeah, Assetto Corsa Competizione looks way better than iRacing of course, but I realized the iRacing simplicity might help me focus more on the actual driving than watching pretty flowers around the track, or be blinded by all the post effects and guard rays that come through those beautiful 3D trees, etc. Somehow my times in Assetto Corsa Competizione were so bad. Brakes seemed, uh, seemed to work differently in, in that game. I mean, I needed way more room to brake in ACC in any conditions. Cold tires, hot tires and everything in between. The braking distance felt way longer than it is in iRacing. But yeah, no idea what's right and what's wrong and frankly I don't care that much. My point is I got used with iRacing and I'll roll with this. The idea is to race on this track the next time it pops up in Falcon GT4 Challenge anyway. Keep in mind I'm a beginner, okay? So my lap time aim was 9 minutes and 5 seconds and an average of 9.15 over 3 laps. That was the condition I imposed to myself after looking at the 1300 strength of field splits in the last uh, week sessions. If I can do it, I'll participate. If not, I'll skip it and do it the next time it pops up. Yesterday was sadly the last day anyway, so clearly I had to skip it. Anyway, without further ado, let's do this. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going too far. I feel I, I took that uh, corner pretty well. This one though, it's it's slow. This is mm, pretty slow, I'd say. I say a corner was slow. If I attack it, I don't get close to the opposing curb, if that makes any sense. Because, yeah, I, I'm not a racer, I, I don't know the nitty gritty. But it's common sense for me, if, if I don't uh, reach the opposing curb, it means I didn't push it enough, or it's room for more, you know. It's simple as that. Here, for example, I almost pushed it too much, or so I feel. Yeah, and here also, uh, but here <laughs> I slowed way too much. Th this one is tricky, if, if you go too fast, you, you screw your, uh, your run. So I'm extra careful there. I feel this section can be done pretty flat out, but I'm... Uh, I'm just not confident enough. But I'm pretty sure by, by now you can do it flat out in GT4s at least. 
Man, the sense of speed on this is is nice. Uh, going a bit wide, but it's okay. Nice, I, I love this corner. It's pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. This entire section is nuts. With my new Moza R9, it's... Oh my god. The... The base gives me so much feedback. Here I slow too much at the beginning, but yeah, I'm, I'm, it's okay, I guess. It's pretty slow around that uh, <clears throat> section, but it's a hard set of corners. This was decent. Yeah, here, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. No comment. Yeah, see, I didn't t touch the apex and I didn't touch the outside curb. So, in my mind, there's a ton of room of, room of uh, improvement. Yeah, this is nice. And I hesitate too much doubts on the exit for some reason. But the um, entering was pretty cool, I feel. Yes, yes. Yeah, please ignore this uh, this part. <laughs> it happens. I didn't have a single uh, clean lap so far, by the way. So, yeah, I... On that front, I'm not ready to race on this, but speeding wise, I'm I'm ready. I feel. There are a lot of. Um flat out uh, sections on uh, on this but see i lift and i'm sure i don't have to lift but i lift i still do it i don't know why but slowly i'm getting there i i'll i push the car more and more every time and here also it's mm. And you slow, I think you actually lose so much time uh, lifting on those sections. Because it snowballs, you know. And now the carousel and the, on this one, I think I should enter it uh, a bit from the outside. And of course be a bit faster in it but it's okay at first i just want to stay inside you know if it uh, if it throws you out you lose a lot of time here i almost lost it almost Yeah, put the traction control to work. I don't know what I'm doing around here, but I, I, I feel I'm pushing it as much as I could without crashing, you know. As, as you see, uh, when the traction control is on, I feel I'm pushing it to the limit. I don't know if it's a good thing, but at least it's how, how it feels to me. I don't know, if I overdrive the car, it seems like I'm on the edge. I think I'm pretty slow around here. I'm starting to get the, the gist of it, slowly but surely.
this next section, bro, I, I crashed so many times here. So, until I learned I need to break a bit, you know. The, uh, this one, I don't know what happened here. I don't know why I was so slow around that, but yeah. Here the third uh, gear seems uh, decent. In the first carousel, uh, the second is better, I feel. But in the second short one, the, the third gear is adequate. And this is it. If I don't crash uh, at the end, I might do a decent lap time. But yeah, look at those incident counts. 31 in 5 laps or so. So yeah, clearly I'm not ready to, to race on this track. But seeing this lap time, I, I feel I'm pretty damn close. If I can push it a bit more on certain parts. Yes, yes. So yeah, I, I feel I'm I'm really close. One more day or two more days of training on this, and I I should be ready for a for a race because eight fifty seven seconds, almost eight fifty six actually. It's in my mind is wow. I didn't expect this to be honest. So to sum it up, no, I I didn't learn the track in one day. I'm far from it. But I did one competitive lap time and in my mind that thing is all that, that matters uh, at this point because yeah, I, I'm not competing with uh, aliens. I'll compete with people that are mostly slower than me. I'm pretty sure of it. Thanks for watching, take care and until next time, see ya.